This is a video about driving across southern Utah from Nevada to Colorado on some of the remotest and most beautiful roads the state has to offer. We began our journey in Beaver Dam State Park, Nevada. Cheers from Beaver Dam State Park, Nevada. You lost another 10 pounds since Stop. last week. Seriously, it's crazy. Let's go. Let's go, you need some beer. Morning guys. Good morning. Morning, day one. Day one. Yeah, we're ready to... Life. Rob's coming out of his tent. They're probably still good, but I... I got more, plenty more, so. Okay. Here we are, heading out, day one. at the Utah state line starting to head east. So uh, day number one. Woohoo! Yay, thank you. All right, so we're uh, day one of our Utah Traverse on our way to Honeymoon Pass. It's probably one of the most uh, difficult obstacles on the trip, but we're looking forward to it. More to come. What'd you think of Honeymoon Pass? What's that? Yes. Is this where you want to spend your honeymoon? Did all the fun enter my place? Did you? Just past Colorado City. We're looking for a place to camp. It's getting late. It's about 5.30 in the evening and we're still trying to find a place to camp. This place we thought looked promising, but it's uh, too small. What you got there, Mateo? Delicious lamb chops that are now in my belly. Ooh. Two what you got there, Chad? I have the only pork chop dish of the evening. And you're awesome. John? I'm lambing it and loving it. <laughs> J-O-N? Lambing it and loving it. Good morning. This is campsite number two. Day number two. It rained a little bit last night, but not too bad. So yesterday was uh, day two. It was a long day. Uh, a lot of scenery, a lot of driving. It was absolutely beautiful. And uh, today we're looking forward to doing some river crossings and uh, even seeing more, more amazing sights. So very fortunate to be here. 
Alright, morning number two. We're uh, leaving Pink Coral Sand Dunes where we spent the night and we're heading off to the uh, Virgin River Valley. The sand is looking awesome this morning. Rained a little bit last night. It's packed down. It shouldn't have to air down too much. It's awesome. How was the, how'd the day go? Oh, today was great. We started out in uh, the Pink Coral Sand Dunes, uh, and then we went up to the top of that, and then we kind of went down a lot of sand, which was really cool. Um, haven't been in that much sand in quite a while since uh, Trail 42 burned up. And we went into the East Fork of the Virgin River. Where are we at now? Cannonville. Cannonville. Cannonville, which is east of Hen west of Henryville. And then and we're going for some pizza and tonight. Then we're and we're Had a lot of fun today. Leftovers from yesterday from Tropic, Utah, which is not very tropical. <laughs> Day three of our trip across southern Utah with AZLRO, and uh, today we're heading down to Alston Point at uh, Lake Powell on the north side. Um, having a great trip so far. Road's been really nice uh, because of some of the mining and and um, other industrial endeavors that are going on in the area. The road's been graded, so it hasn't been nearly as challenging as it has been in the past. But that just means we're making up some time for some exploration later. Wind's picking up. We might get some some rain. We got some clouds rolling in. We can see rain down over the lake. Uh, lake's basically over my right-hand shoulder. Um, just been a fantastic trip so far. Great group of guys. Here we are on the planet Venus. Going through the dusty crater wind bowl. Just got eight so much dust on it. sorts of different landscape and fauna. Uh, loved every uh, mile of it. Uh, 864 miles from Phoenix. We've done about 325 miles so far on the Utah Traverse. Uh, and, and now we're at Alstrom Point, which as you can see is absolutely breathtaking. So looking forward to day four and uh, what lies ahead. You know what? It's all worth it, right at this moment. It would have been if I didn't have a beer in my hand. Halfway up was 
But I don't know, over time you get like maybe, you know, earthquakes and stuff, open yeah, stuff up. Yeah, the fact of the matter is, is for, I I guess, for I guess. it would be almost boring if the yeah. skies were clear. Yeah. Right? It would be. I mean, the... the Bringing out different colors. So much that. Right. right. Yeah, well, I'm sitting here oh. looking for... Right. This bait right. switching to Verizon, 100% work. Like, yeah, I know. Just this. Yeah. Right here, I just, oh, I just I uploaded a picture. <laughs> I did it. I, I did it two weeks ago. This could ago. be an absolute commercial for Verizon because nobody else has any signal. Lovely scenery we have out the north window. We're looking at a coal seam over there. It's it's uh, all over the place for miles. We can see these coal seams, the black rock. I see Doug's already had too much. Just joking. <laughs> was there a drool coming down? Because I feel like there was. Fast with it. Hey, Mateo, what do you got there? We got a Romanian PSL. Uh, what caliber is that? It's a 762x54R. Did you guys uh, kill some uh, targets out there? You could say that. Nice. No let's uh, let's uh, check it out a little closer here. Very nice. We never use tents, we just lay by the fire. And I got really lucky on the model that I bought being an 89. Because it again, doesn't have ABS, didn't have sway bars, had the first year of the 39 engine. <laughs> What's up guys? Like a little chilly. I'm not recording. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't mind me. Right. About done. Cheers. Cheers. Steve, what are you cooking there? Eggs and bacon, huh? All right. Let's zoom in on that. I love estate sales. Yeah. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get. Yeah, you can see flames. It's got to be cold because there's nothing there to burn, right? Yeah. Let me see yeah. what you got. What's your car? 10 by 42. Here we are at the dinosaur tracks and hopefully you can make it out on the video but these are supposedly dinosaur tracks.
morning, Steve. Hey, Doug. How you doing this morning? Yeah, great. You know, the bed was too darn soft last night. Much prefer to sleep on the ground. Well, the road will be much harder today. Oh, great. Looking forward to a new challenge. <laughs> All right, today is Wednesday and we're in Capitol Reef National Park. We're stopped for lunch at a most incredible lunch spot. You can see the rovers down there, everybody enjoying their lunch. Slot Canyon, pretty cool little canyon actually, uh, just off the side of the road. Uh, I've always wanted to come down here, and here I am. You can see it's pretty cool in here. Uh, goes way up here. You can see Rob up there. Hola. Wave, Rob. You can see uh, I'm kind of at a dead end here. There's about a uh, 15 foot waterfall behind me. Can't go any further. We're now on the uh, foothills of the Henry Mountains and we're starting to climb. See if we can make it this year. That's our destination, up on the top of that mountain. You can see some snow up there, a lot of clouds. Got it. So, right here. Yeah, it's a little drier if you stayed out of the tracks. So I was trying to stay out of Steve's uh, slip and sliding tracks for everybody at Ben's because it was fun watching him slide around like that. But if you stay out of the out of the ruts in the drier areas, you'd pretty good traction. So uh, did I hear correctly? Uh, something won't start. I can't believe a Land Rover won't start. <laughs> no comment. Love ya, Sully Hall. This is where we're gonna turn around. It only gets worse from here. Fourth year in a row, turn down. <laughs> I think I'll tell everybody to meet down at Aspen Grove. ahead it's about six or seven feet deep and we really don't feel like digging through that so we're all heading down the hill we're getting everybody uh, turned around you can see everybody getting turned around down there Steve's going right now nice and slow there's a snow drift they have to back through so a little dangerous but uh, slowly we'll get her done fun times with AZLRO so the, 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 the line is good, keep coming. Great. Great. 
I was thinking about getting down to that nice lower elevation where it was nice and grassy because that's way closer. That's a hat probably 30 miles closer than Hanksville. Getting down to low elevation and changing his water pump and camping right there. John's got food for tonight. He, you know, if he cooks and a couple able mechanics changes his water pump. Yeah, you're gonna get a killer sunset. <laughs> okay, this is day four, five, or six. We're kind of lost count. We're on, but the most important thing is it's breakdown number two of the trip. So, uh, what are you cooking tonight, tonight John and John? Uh, is what is it again? Carne asada. Carne asada. Carne asada, and. Uh, uh, homemade guacamole and chips. Nice. And uh, a little bit of uh, garnish uh, to help the taste a lot. Nice. And uh, I, I heard a rumor that we had some kind of shots to go with it. Yes, we do. We have tequila shots. It's going to be great. Will that affect us? Or will that affect our sleeping tonight? Not at all. It'll make our sleeping much better. Oh, good. And how about dessert? And we do have dessert. It's like uh, cheese. Cape, yeah, kind of stuff. <laughs> Very nice. All right, signing off from the middle of Utah. Check this out. Oh, 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 oh right. that looks like the first this type course. Of, this, yeah. type of this is the second course. Yeah. All right, how's, how's dinner cooking? It's coming along. How's that light? Is that bright enough? <laughs> it's bright. <laughs> Down, I remember because he, he, uh, he took, no, he took a stick in the eye. Mm, well, good. Right um, Chad needs to Oh, Chad? No, you guys, you guys gotta eat. No, we got plenty. Come on. Yep. How's it looking, John? It's looking great. I think people are uh, filled. Talk to me. Yes. Finally. Yes. We're a tough uh, crowd to satisfy, aren't we? But, uh, what I'm it doesn't get any better than this. The moonlight, the open sky. Look at those clouds. The fire. Be admitted and go to OR. The stories about water crazy pump. people. I mean, yeah. the good times and the boogie. And the uh, tequila, of course. <laughs> Here we are airing up on Capitol Reef Road. We are going into Hanksville to hopefully get a new water pump for John. Are you changing the... Uh, Windshield washer gaskets. I was uh, checking the headlight smoke. Oh, that's important. You know, I, I thought I had a can of OEM smoke, but I barely used it last time on the wiring harness. Get you up and going again. So. <laughs> All right, here we are. Thursday, day six, I think it is. Dirty Devil River. We are gonna have John kind of see how deep the river is. Hopefully it doesn't go up to his uh, <laughs> chest or something like that. Typically it's about foot to 18 inches, so not too bad. The flow looks pretty good today. Pretty good so far. All right, guys, we're coming through the jungle, it looks like here. 
to get to our lunch spot. To hide the where are we at? The Philippines? What what jungle are we in here? Yeah, we're eating the animals we just caught. We went wow. spear hunting. That river over there looks like a cat prone in it. So we just came to a bad washout. We thought it was the end of the trip. On this section of the road, we'd have to turn around. You can see here, the road totally washed out. And there's really no way to cross and no way to fix it. But our eagle-eyed tail gunner, Chad Manns, found another route through that somebody's been using that's gonna work really good. So another good time. Here goes John Edelman, he's going down through the bypass now. and I were talking about the uh, there's one NFL player he and his wife live off sixty thousand dollars a year everything else goes into investments and savings smart they, they drive modest cars they have a house they can afford at sixty thousand dollars a year oh hundred percent of those bankrupt by the time they're 53 uh, especially if they own a <laughs> here we are on day seven and we're in a great field of multiple colored wildflowers quite spectacular what do you need caffeine, caffeine. Yeah. I don't all I got is my packet drinks Is that ASU uh, Sun Devil Fork up above you? Sorry, dude. <laughs> 
Zap. Get ready for the final air up before we head on to Colorado. Incredible, just incredible. I've never, the, the trip of a lifetime for sure. I've never seen anything better. It's uh, scenery like I've never seen. Incredible. The hatch trading post is closed. We were gonna go in and have a brew. This is it, we've made it to the end. I'm in Utah and the cars are in Colorado. The end of the Utah Traverse, 2016. Ha, 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 ha.